Okay, welcome. This is the tutorial video on Social Webinar version 2. And what you're seeing here is it's already been all set up. And so we're just going to dive in. How, how your participants will log in is they'll, in their reminder email, they'll get a link to log into Social Webinar. They put in their name and if they want a photo, like the folks here, and, uh, and then you're in. Okay, now this is in addition to the regular conductor link you have here. You can, you can see the, uh, the results here. Uh, this is as per usual, and then this is an additional. So this is really a, um, an interface for participants. Okay, so um, and if you're familiar with version 1, you'll see we've got a number of new features in here. It's pretty exciting. One of them is talking lights which is our word for, you see how, this is Adam Corrin, you see how my, uh, the, the box around my picture here is turning green, and that's because I'm talking and our system is detecting that. When the other folks talk, uh, their, um, their boxes will turn green as well. Okay, now um, you, we've got a number of views. If I go to settings and then control panel, I'm already logged in as a host, so I have this, uh, these additional controls. So for example, I could go to interactive browser and, uh, and then click on save changes here at the bottom. And then I've already loaded up cnn.com. You can, you can see that here. Now at the top of the page, you can still see we're still in social webinar. So if I go back to settings and go to a different view like screen sharing and then at Uh, seeing what's on my screen there. Okay, go back. And uh, next we're going to go over um, the text editor. If I, again, I'm going to click on save. And okay. Well, great, so it takes a moment to load. And then here we are, you can see the four people who are logged into social webinar and we can uh, we can each uh, chat. There we go. Okay, and then each person could chat like that. And let's go over to, um, and then in the screen share view, uh, when you're when you've got that going, you can. Here, let me close this. You can pull up, you know, anything you want. Like, you know, I can pull up iTunes and then my participants would be uh, seeing just whatever's on my screen. PowerPoint could be any application, doesn't have to be on the web. Okay, and I think that's it. Um, uh, oh, I'll mention text editor breakout as well. Um, your participants in each particular breakout can have their own text editor now, or you can have just one main conversation for everybody. So that's exciting. And um, that's what's available again. Uh, it's this is within um, the settings for social webinar. You just click on control panel and then you can choose uh, the view that you want. If you're familiar with version one, this used to be on the view edit page and now it's all integrated into um, social webinar. All right, and uh, I'll, to finish up, we'll just bring us back to breakout view and uh, you can have your participants move around if you want just by clicking on everyone can move themselves to another breakout. Okay, and I'll just turn everything on. Okay, and save changes. And then good, you can see at the top, it says raise hands. You can raise your hand from, from that. You can see other people's uh, raise hands. You, what you're seeing there is as I click, uh, as I hover over someone's profile, the profile is coming up. So you can see their hands there. Uh, you can change your own hand, and you can even change your breakout. So if you're wanting to uh, have people move around and get to meet some new people, uh, you can turn that on as well. Okay, hope that's uh, hope this video has been helpful for you. Let us know if you have any questions.